Hello. Oh. I need to get a stand. So hello and kind of good morning. I don't know what time you're watching this, but this won't go out in the morning, but it's good morning when I'm filming this, so good morning. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Ollie. But if you are a regular subscriber, hi, welcome back. Today's video is a bit of a vlog, kind of because life right now has been a bit crazy for me. There's a lot kind of going on, there's a lot, there's, I say there's a lot going on, but that's dramatic. There's a few changes going on, and there's a few things which I want to catch you up on. Right now though, I'm starving, so I'm going to have breakfast first, and I need to want my dog and all of that. But basically, I just want to catch you up on a few things, and I was like, I might as well do it in a vlog, I might as well just vlog the day and tell you when I'm free, because I've got a lot of little bits and stuff to do today. But anyway, I hope you're well, I hope you've had a good day, let me know if you've had a good day, I hope you have, I hope you've been loving yourself today. I've got to walk my dog, but I'm going to have some chocolate porridge first, so... Let's do that. Hello, hello. You are quite low here, I'm looking down. But I got my porridge. I feel like a lot of people are going like, oh, that's so gleepy, but it looks like dough. Yeah, well, I like this kind of porridge, so it's really good. I'm also still drinking a gallon of water a day, if you're interested. This bottle is like one of the best purchases I've made this entire year, actually, because it just ensures that I drink a gallon a day, and it's great. I also thought while I was eating breakfast, I'm going to tell you today's to-do list, just so you know what we've got to do. I need to walk my dog, walk Charlie. I need to fill out some forms. I'll let you know what they are later on. I need to do an ASOS shot. I mean, that's not an essential, but then it kind of is. I need to film some TikToks because my TikTok drafts right now, I think I've got 18 drafts and normally I have a lot more than that. Then obviously vlog, but that's like my whole day thing. And then I need to cut edit the vlog later on. I also need to post an Instagram for a brand collab. I'll probably do that one about five o'clock, six o'clock-ish. So that's what I gotta do. Hello, I am now back from my walk. This weather is just crazy because it's so sunny and blue, but it's a bit cold. But then it's not cold, it's actually quite warm. So this weather at the moment is, it's a lot. I think now I'm gonna film some TikToks, I think. Speaking of TikTok, okay, so Addison Rae and Kourtney Kardashian. Don't know if any of you care or no, but I was watching Keeping Up With Kardashians last night and Addison Rae was on it. And I, was, I found it so weird that like a TikToker is now like best friends with a Kardashian. Like that is just crazy. Because to me, the Kardashians are like beyond A-list celebrities. Do you know what I mean? So for a TikToker, to be up there, it's crazy. Like TikTok has become such like a, like a frowned upon platform to literally such a big deal. And I love that really. Like TikTok is great. It's Create so many careers and like everything is so cool. I mean, I wish I was Addison Rae. Right. Imagine being friends of a Kardashian. Like that is just something else. Like being like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go and see Kim and Kylie today. Oh my god, imagine being friends of Kendall Jenner. Hey Kenny, what are you doing? Like that is just so cool to me. But yeah, that's all. Basically, I'm gonna start filming some TikToks now. So catch you up. <laughs> Okay, so I've been recording now for like way over half an hour. That's gonna be one big fat time lapse on me filming TikToks, which will be very irrelevant and pointless to watch because you won't be able to see anything because I've been sat here the whole time. It's been very, been very face oriented TikToks today that I've been filming. But sometimes I like those ones. Now that I've got some stuff to sort out, which will be quite hard to do on camera and, and I need to concentrate, I need to like zone in. It's like work mode. So I'm gonna do that and then after that, I'll probably catch up with what is going on with the life update. I've got two things to tell you really, but you'll find out in a hot minute. Hi, it's now 10 past two. I have just finished doing a lot of like emails and filling out forms, online tests, contract, all of that. And now I'm about to have my lunch. So then I've got the, my protein. I've got a chocolate shake, which I've never tried before. Normally I have a strawberry protein shake. I've ran out of that. I was like, I really want to try a new flavor. So I went for the, pro the chocolate one. And I've also got, because I'm being really lazy and can't be bothered to make anything. This is from m and I mean, it's a super nutty whole food salad bowl. Honestly, this is amazing. So it's quinoa, peanut, almond, pistachio salad with a soy and ginger dressing. It is amazing. Like, I'm not even joking. It is so, so good. You know, if you're not allergic to anything in this, try it because I can't even explain how good it is. And like this sort of dressing part is just everything. And you just like drizzle it on. I mean, to be fair, normally I would make an actual lunch, but, but I was just starving. I needed some food. I can't even explain how filling this actually is as well. Like it's carrot, quinoa, broccoli, almonds, peanuts, beans, peas. This sounds sponsored. It's really not. Oh. Smells a bit like a brownie mixture. Ooh, 
it tastes a bit like a brownie mixture chip. That's quite nice to be fair. Probably the reason you clicked on this video is because I have got some life updates to tell you. So I'm going to start with my surgery, which I mentioned in a video, which I'm getting done. And I've had a few people messaging me about it and what is it kind of thing. And I was like, you know what? You're definitely going to notice it once I've had it done. Might as well just explain it. They say after my surgery, I'll be inactive for about like 72 hours. So that's like three days. So the day I have it, then the day after, then the day after that, then the day after that, I should be fine. Basically, I have this thing in my gums where I have baby teeth. So in my gums, I don't have, not in all of them, I've got, I think I've got about six adult teeth in total. The four front ones are adults, so that's lucky. As it gets further and back, it's like less adult teeth. Maybe six and a half, seven years, I've probably had braces. And from the start of my braces journey, the end goal was to have this surgery because the dentists and stuff were saying like, the baby teeth aren't strong enough to withhold a life. So eventually these baby teeth, they'll break easily. They're like, they'll like decay because they're just baby, not got the strength to survive essentially. So at the end of April, I am going in to the hospital and I'm getting dental implants. So that means we're going to take out the baby teeth. It's only three teeth I'm getting done because they're like the most crucial ones and like the I don't, I don't really quite understand the science that off behind it, but I'm getting three teeth done because I think they're the like weakest and like the most crucial ones which I need the most. So it's these two front ones here, that on and that on. Those two are the two baby teeth which I'm getting taken out and then it's implants. So basically they will drill into my gums like screw bolts essentially. It's like an hour and a half procedure. I'll be on painkillers as well for if I'll be awake. So I'll take the teeth out. Then we've got to drill in the bolts and then I, think, I can't remember if it's four or five months I've got to wait with nothing here like just like the bolts in my gums for the bones to heal around the bolts. So I'll have that on the end of April and then in about four or five months once it's all healed and stuff because it's like a, to like heal properly it's like four or five months. Then at the end of that I'll go back to the hospital and that's when they'll put in the crowns which are fake teeth. So I'll have like two implant teeth here and then on the bottom row of my teeth I pulled out a baby tooth once in like year seven because funny story I actually want I actually wanted to get out of PE lesson so I pulled it out because I thought it'd get me out of it. It didn't uh, but it never grew back because it was one of the baby teeth but it just didn't have an adult teeth in its gums. On the brace retainer thing that I've got now which comes in and out I can like have it when I want and take it out when I want. That has got a tooth on it so you can't actually tell it just looks like I've got like a bottom brace on but it's not it's just it basically is holding a tooth so I'm not walking around with like a missing tooth um, and then I think when I go back to get the crowns in I'll then do an implant for the bottom tooth as well so that's my surgery when I have that at the end of April they have said like I'm literally not allowed on my phone for 24 hours I'm not allowed to do anything for 24 hours they said don't quite understand why but you are going to notice because going from March April May starting from May the videos I film from May you'll know you might notice you might not I mean I imagine you will I won't have two teeth here so that is essentially my surgery and that's essentially what's going to happen I made the mistake of typing the procedure in on TikTok and if you want to do that just type in like dental implants basically dental implant surgery if you want to see what it looks like and what I'm gonna have to go through type that in on TikTok it put me off I honestly watched that and I felt sick and now since watching that I'm now a little bit scared for it I'm just excited for my surgery and my dental issues to be over really because it's been like seven years and I cannot wait just to have no nothing in my mouth like nothing not having to go to checkups for my teeth not having to do this and that and like I'm just excited for it to all be done so that is the surgery I'll be having at the end of of April. So then the other thing that I need to tell you, I need to tell you because I mean I like being open with you guys and like I feel like I do want to tell you because there might be content changes or lack off or more some weeks or something like that. I have basically got a new job which I am very very excited for like I am beyond excited Rude. I am beyond and excited for like genuinely I am. Some of you may know, some of you might not know, but previously I was an assistant manager at a wine bar, which I loved that. Like I worked there for about three years, I think, and that honestly, I'm gonna silence my phone. I worked there for about three years and I genuinely loved it. Like I loved every second of it. It was so much fun. I learned a lot, like it was it was great. It gave me a lot of freedom, flexibility, and everything. Then obviously we went into the pandemic and the lockdown, and that gave me Monday to Friday at home by myself, a hundred percent free time to just create content. I literally film and edit Monday to Friday. Friday at home like that's literally if, if you saw my lockdown life I have not I probably had a handful of lazy days where I've done nothing apart from a weekend but like Monday Friday for a lockdown I've been busy constantly every day night all day just creating content and editing or planning or things like that so I've been very very busy with content and I love it it's my favorite thing to do in the world however I feel like I'm ready to like grow and try a new challenge and start something new so I applied to a job in digital marketing I got that which is just amazing and I'm so so grateful for and excited for and I cannot wait to start I actually start when you're watching this, I, I would have completed my first week. So for me, I literally start this Monday coming up to the 19th. And it is literally a Monday to Friday, nine to five kind of job, which means I've just gone from 100% nothing to do at home, apart from film, create content, edit, to two days a week at home. Obviously, I'm sure you can imagine changes my schedule. I'm really grateful for that because lockdown didn't get to me, but like 
I'm excited to have a job and have a structure again and a schedule again, like outside the house and work outside the house and all of that. So I'm really excited for it all. The only thing is, it leaves me less time to film and create content and edit content. The reason I'm telling you is because some weeks there might be one video, some weeks I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best to obviously do two videos a week because I love it so much and like I'm more than happy to come home after work and do it and everything. But like whilst I'm getting into the routine of things and getting used to a brand new job, brand new like life and all of that, I just want to kind of focus. I don't want to overwhelm myself and put too much pressure on myself to get content out because I don't want to put out content if it's not the best. Like, I don't want to just chuck a video out because I've got no time this week so I'm just going to film myself for something stupid. I want to make sure the content I'm putting out is what I'm happy with and I'm enjoying creating it and not just creating it for the sake of putting out two videos a week. So to be honest with you, my life is about to change a lot but that's why I want to let you know in case like one week there's only one video. So I'm very very excited for the start date and to start all of that new journey and obviously I want to still bring you guys along with me. It just might mean one less video a week or sometimes it might mean two or I think I'm maybe doing like a vlog a month just wanted to let you all know what was going on. But that is it, essentially, for my life update. I mean, it is quite a big update because it's a big change in my life. It's going to be such a big difference in my life. I'm going to do a bit of an ASOS shop, get some new clothes for it, things like that. I'm really out of excited. I'm excited to see what I'm going to learn and all of that, so... Yeah, I'm having surgery and I've got a new job. Life hits you very fast, people. I feel like life has hit me in this last week very fast, very hard. If you only clicked on my video to see a life update, that was that. Thanks for watching. But, I mean, I'm just, I think I might vlog the rest of the day and just see where we end up. However, now I think I might just edit some TikToks because like, I feel like I always find the caption stuff and the, all of that stuff the longest and the most reigning process of TikTok. So, I'm going to get that out of the way now and do that. So, yeah. So, I've just been doing an ASOS little shop thing and then these arrived. These are some pencil cases that I ordered. Just because the idea of having like two little pencil cases, one can have like highlighters and like colored pens in to just like to make notes with it, and one can have like a pencil, like some pencils and pens in. Just because I like to have pens on hand, so like, like I can just put them in like my bag, which I'll take to work, and like I can just like put pens in it and like always be prepared. And then one can be for colors, because it's not that big, but like the perfect size, like just to put in a bag, I feel like. First work order. Hello from the other side. So I've just placed a ASOS order. I actually ended up getting three things. I got a jacket, like a shirt jacket, like a jacket. I got a pair of pants, like, like they're kind of like chinos, but they're like jean, genos. Kind of. And I also got just a plain white t-shirt because, because you can never, oh, I have a scratch. I wonder where that scratch is from. I can see that. Where's that from? You can never have enough white t-shirts, really. Also, I also got another order just then. It is this. So it looks like that. And this print... Actually, I'll show you them all. So this one... I would also like to quickly add, this bit is not sponsored. I'm not even going to do this. Like, I'm just doing this because it's really cool and I'm really proud. So this print here, which is now on the frame, it's like a piece, so you can see. Also got this one, which says manifest that shit. And then this one, which says be kind. So these prints, those prints are made by George's sister. Her name's Liv and she's got an Instagram business and she's, she's just started it basically. It's called Prints by Olive. I'll put it on screen now. I'd say go and check them out because I genuinely think they're really cool and the quality is amazing. But guys, she did a giveaway on her Instagram and I've never won anything in my life. But guess who won that competition? I won. And obviously this one's in a frame because I've ordered a frame because obviously I have got like like black shelves and a black picture frames in my room. I've got two already. So I was like, okay, I want all the frames to be black. So hence how that one's gone. The other two, I've ordered three frames from Amazon. The other two frames haven't come yet. So that's why they're not in frames yet. But as soon as their frames have come, they're getting in frame and they're going up on the wall somewhere. I think I'm gonna take the TV down and pop them like over here because obviously I use my projector, I don't use the TV. But I just thought I'd show you them because I think they're really cool. They're really nice, really affordable. You can either choose your own print or like message or something to say, oh, she's got a selection of so many good ones that she's designed herself and they're amazing. You can also choose a colour scheme and the colour palette completely yourself so like, I chose on this one the colours for all of these because I like the colour blue because like, I feel like that blue matches that blue and then the white matches the white in it and like the blues match and like plus I love that kind of colour blue it's like my favourite colour kind of shades of blue these coloured blues that's how that came about I would tell you guys know that firstly I won a competition which I won these prints and I'm really happy about that because I never win anything second of all you've probably gone check her out because they are actually really good and I think they're really effective and really cute um, but yeah that's all I want to say really I'm going to crack on editing this video you're watching right now I'm going to start editing that because I haven't I know I filmed like way over like an hour worth of footage today. It's gonna be condensed down to like a 12 minute video. A lot of editing to do on I just thought I'd show you those prints and obviously when we're all in frame they'll definitely be going on the Instagram. You can, I'm sure you can imagine that. what time is it I need to post actually. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 4 57 pm. Okay it's five o'clock. Okay I might post in like an hour or a half. But anyway I'm gonna start editing and I'll catch up with you when I do.
to get it. It's like a piece of time. Anyway. I don't exactly remember the exact time I last filmed. However, I got distracted because last night, which I forgot I did, 18 hours ago, I popped my Instagram story that says, I need something new to watch, help me out. And it's just like a little boomerang. And obviously, swipe up. So many people reply to it. And I've just been going through them all. I'm like Googling them and replying to them. So like, someone's have a crown. And I've just basically, I've just basically been replying to a load. Someone's have a crown. Ackley Bridge. Louis through. So basically, so I've just been like sharing a lot of my story and we're applying to loads of people like talking about shows to watch and stuff. I think it's called The Wild on Amazon Prime. Sounds really good. I might try and give that a watch because it sounds good. I mean, to be fair, last night when I put that on, I, ended, I forgot I had put it on and I ended up watching Teen's First Date. Why is that so good? Why is Teen's First Date so, so funny? You're distracting me. I need to edit. I need to edit the video you're watching right now. BLB. So guys, it is currently, what is the actual time? Now half seven, I had dinner about 20 minutes ago. It was lovely. But guys, I've just finished editing most of the clips today. I've still got like, I think I've probably got about five more clips to edit, but I've done like the bulk clips. And the vlog so far is 16 minutes and 28 seconds, which I still have more clips to put in. I feel like this vlog might be quite a long one, but I'm gonna put on my Instagram story like, hey guys, do you guys want a longer one? Cause I've got the footage. You're like, you wanna see it all? Or would you rather just have like a sweet and short, snappy, chatty vlog? So I'm gonna put it on my Instagram story story tomorrow probably and see what you guys want whatever you guys wanted that's, that's what you're watching now so you did this no i'm joking but i actually am going to stop editing now because i've done all the what i've got and i'm actually going to just quickly get changed and go on a walk because it's quite a really nice evening like you can kind of see through my blinds really fancy a walk which isn't really like me i'm going to take it whilst i do feel like it to get the steps in i'm going to probably end the vlog here because i'll go on a walk i'll get back i'll shower have a lot of cup of tea and then i'll probably get in bed because i'm exhausted to be honest so yeah, if you enjoyed today's video and this vlog style video, let me know. Not a vlog style, it is a literal vlog. It's not a vlog style, it, this is a vlog. If you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by smashing a like button if you if you enjoyed today's video. If you want more vlogs, let me know because I think, especially now we're out of lockdown more and more, I'd more enjoy doing vlogs. So I'm being, I'll be like, I can go out of the house, I can go places. You know what I mean? So let me know if you want more vlogs and that can be arranged. Plus, vlogs would be easier now probably for me to film because like it's like my daily life kind of thing. So I did like a vlog a week and a normal video a week kind of thing it might be easier but we'll work it out together just please bear with me and everything it's all gonna be okay make sure you subscribe to the channel though so you don't miss any other video from me see you very soon with another video thank you